the Squadron Scale Workshop. My name is Brett Green and today, for the second time in a week, we're going to be taking a look at a forthcoming Tamiya military release with the test shots of their 135th scale M551 Sheridan tank. Now, the first thing I should point out is that this kit has nothing whatsoever in common with the 1971 Tamiya Sheridan uh, also re-released in the late 1990s. That kit really uh, doesn't stand up to scrutiny in today's military model marketplace. However, uh, to me has taken a, a completely fresh new approach to, uh, to this particular kit. We haven't exactly been flooded with Sheridan options since Tamiya's early 1970s release. In 2005, Academy released their M551 Sheridan kit, but unfortunately that kit suffered from some turret shape problems, uh, hull length issues and also skinny tracks. So the Vietnam War military enthusiast was out of luck there as well. Well, let's see what Tamiya have actually given us with this kit. Uh, now I pointed out before that these are test shots, these are probably going to change somewhat by the time the production kit is released, but it'll be close to uh, what we actually see on the hobby shop shelves. And what we have inside are 336 parts in beige plastic. One of the things that will probably change is that it will be olive green plastic in the production kit. There are also 20 clear parts, uh, which are there for uh, headlight lenses, uh, also vision blocks, and uh, the nice visors for the crew figures. Uh, there are also um, parts that uh, are multimedia, so we have some vinyl mesh for the engine deck and also for an optional uh, chain fence armour on the, the front of the vehicle. There are also a copper wire vinyl tube uh, and a number of polythene caps. Options in this kit uh, cover two Vietnam War era vehicles and uh, the, the vehicle can be built with a searchlight or without and the searchlight itself can be uncovered uh, or it can be depicted with a, a very nice um, canvas cover as well, uh, very authentic looking um, folds and drapes in the fabric. There's an M16 and an M. Uh, M1 uh, 50 cal uh, on the turret. Uh, we have also three figures uh, in this kit uh, and they're up to the usual Tamiya uh, standards for their recent figures. Very, very nice indeed. Action poses too. So uh, you've really got an instant vignette in the box. Speaking of the box, uh, let's take a look inside and uh, explore the sprues in a little more detail. The sprues lie beneath this traditional Tamiya box art. Two options are offered, one with a searchlight and chain fence armour on the front, and a second one with additional armour on the 50 cal turret mounted machine gun. The upper hull is presented as a single part. Details are crisply recessed and raised as appropriate. The solid moulded engine grills look pretty good, but they'll be covered by vinyl mesh anyway. The lower hull is a flat pack made up of multiple parts. Here's the turret's upper dish section, uh, part of the characteristic flying saucer turret. And here's the lower half. parts, including the front machine gun shield. Tamiya supplies three Vietnam War era crew figures, the commander, a loader and a driver. These are really nicely detailed and supplied in multiple parts. There are optional helmets for each of the figures. Check out the facial detail here. The 
parts are as crisply moulded and well detailed as you would expect from a 2018 Tamiya kit. Road wheels are supplied as inner and outer halves with the tyres and the wheels moulded as one piece. Lincoln length tracks are included. These are nicely detailed with minimal ejector pin marks on the inside. I particularly liked the worn rubber treatment of the treads on the tracks. Here is the kit's clear sprue. The immediate parts include vinyl mesh, copper wire, vinyl tube and poly caps. The kit decal sheet includes markings for two Vietnam War era vehicles. So there we have it. Tamiya revisits their back catalogue once again and produces another gem uh, in 2018 with their M551 Sheridan tank. Uh, Lincoln length tracks, uh, no vinyl on the wheels is always a good thing. Some really useful options with the searchlight uh, and the optional uh, machine gun um, cupola. Uh, a, a really nice kit and uh, looking forward to seeing it in its production form. We'll have more news about it uh, closer to release. Well, that's all we have time for in Squadron Scale Workshop today. From Brett Green, it's bye for now.